Alejandro Criado and today I want to bring a really nice topic that I have been requested many times. From my share you can see that I have summer vibes and a lot of light here in my country. So I decided to install some new solar panels to have some solar energy to charge my EV. So Volvo has a really nice future that it's uh, EcoSmart with a, with a power meter. With that, I can be able to charge just with green energy without using my grid or mix it when I have not enough energy from the sun. So follow me because today's going to be interesting tutorial about how to charge. Using the app checking our inverter, we can check that we have installed 1.6 kilowatts. That means that we have enough power to charge in single phase, but we will not be able to charge all the time when there is a cloud. That's why we'll be using the echo mode that can switch between one and the other one. EcoSmart is a functionality have two options. EcoSmart, it's full green, just charging with green energy from the solar panels when you have enough energy, so more than six amps. And echo mode means that when you don't have enough energy, you will get from the grid and also from the solar panels. EcoSmart requires three components. The first is a smart charger wall box. The second thing is a power meter from Wallbox to have all the readings, and the third one with my Wallbox as the app of Wallbox. There are three scenarios that are first one uh, Eco Smart with full green, so that means all the energy coming from the uh, solar panels and you don't have anything from the grid. Second thing would be uh, Eco Mode, that means that half of the energy could come from the grid and the other part from the solar, always with a minimum of two amps from the solar panels. And the third one is with no control, all the energy that comes from the grid because you don't have energy at solar. So that's the standard one when we don't have control. The first scenario is we have enough energy from generation from the solar panels, that's 70 amps for example here. We have consuming of 50 amps, so that means that we are sending to the grid 20 amps. So our smart charging says, well, let's go get that for charge our car. So it limits the charging for up to 20 amps. So you will not uh, spare energy from the solar, but you will not consume anything from the grid. So that's called Yes, full green mode. In the second scenario, what we have is not enough power to provide energy to the, our EV, but still we have provided more than the consumption of the home. So we are going to give for free that energy to the grid? No. What we're going to do is getting what it's missing to get at least six amps from the grid. For example, in that case, we are showing that we are generating uh, two amps at least from the, from the solar panels that we are not uh, getting profit on the our um, other loads. So let's go get these four amps from the, the grid and then we can charge at least for six amps. So in single phase would be 1.4 kilowatts and in three phase will be 4.2 kilowatts. And the third scenario would be the standard one. When we are not controlling if the energy comes from the grid or from the solar, so we are living for free this thing. So it's not uh, enough energy from the solar panel, so all the energy will come from the, from the grid. That's a standard one and we will really consider as a power boost at the end as our limitation from the mains. Let's use my Wallbox app when we are able to see if we are using just echo mode or green energy because it's charging. So clicking on there we will see if it's green energy and it's still charging, that means that we have enough energy. In our solution, that we will see that's 1.3 kilowatts, that means 6 amps with a difference with the voltage. Well, in that case, we were able to charge just with green energy. But as my home has not much power, I would suggest that we just charge with echo, as it's able to charge always with some energy, when it comes a cloud or something like that. 
because my sessions were very short, I can extract the information of charging from green energy and what comes from the grid. So it's very useful tool to check how much energy came from one and or to the other one. One of the issues of the three phase installations in terms of one phase installation is the following. When you have 1.4 kilowatts, that's the minimum to charge six amps in single phase, you have a lot of options to charge always because even if there is a cloud, you have enough energy. That's why I'm crawling up there, all this area. But what happens when you have three phase? It's a bit different because you have just to start charging when you have 4.2 kilowatts. So the time you are able to charge will be lower and then it will be switching off and switching off the charger many times and it can eventually make damage in the charger. So in those things and those climates that you have a lot of clouds, I would suggest you to go for single phase when you will be from 4.2 kilowatts to up to 1.4 kilowatts, all this range you will be charging. So I would suggest you for those climates so you don't have all the sun uh, always bright in, it's better to be in a um, single phase installation. Everything is good, everything is bad, but now it's time to close our video. So, well, let's go to have some four questions that have been always asked. First thing, this is power meter, so it's the accessory, so the hardware, but the software is EcoSmart. That's very different thing. So you just need one device and the software is embedded in all our charges. Second question I always receive, very important as well. If I don't have enough energy, what happened? Well, if you are activated, EcoSmart will not consume any energy from the grids if you don't have, of course, all the Eco mode with some surplus. Well, third question, what happened when it comes to clouds and I was click on the full green energy? I just will stop, but what happened? Well, the car will be there just connected, you know, waiting for a response but it will not charge anything. So you have two options. One is connected eco mode. So if it's some energy generated from the solar panels, you can get them, or you just can force to charge because you need this car, you know, full of energy. So that's the option you have. Poor question. What happened if I just want to charge directly from the solar panels, my car? Well, this is no option like this because the inverter, it's the one to decide all the energy goes to the grid, but we are not communicating directly to this inverter, we do indirectly. That's why we are compatible with all the inverters in the market, everything on them. So how we do? Very smart way. This is a device that reads all the energy comes to the grids and leaves the grids. So in that moment, if the energy goes in negative value, that means that we're injecting in the grid. But when it comes with positive, we get it from the grid. So that's a smart way to do it. So we that indirectly communicate with the inverters but not directly. So that's why we cannot charge all the solar direct to the EV. Well, it's the end of this video. I enjoyed so much explaining to you all the EcoSmart because it's very nice feature. And now we are gonna say bye in these particular places. Barcelona, my amazing city, I love it. So visit us anytime you want it. Let's call us, we are here for you.